Hey up everybody. Uh, today then I'm going to bite the bullet and put some water in tanks and just check for any leaks and then if there is any leaks I've got to rectify them. So that I've got some water on and there some containers I'm going to go ahead and fill these tanks up. Right, I've just noticed my first leak. Uh, I've had a I've had a look under here, and it's it's me it's my hand pump. It's just one of the joints like hand pumps. I must have missed it. Try that. Right, so that's two litre gone in. Just had that one leak on my hand pump, which I think I've cured that now. Let me just double check. I think that's got it. Right, let's have a look around then. I can't see nothing on this side. Yeah, they're about three quarters full. That's two litre gone in. I'll fill them up. Probably what have I got in three litre? Just that drip on that hand pump, which I had to tighten up. Well, so far, so good. I've left it for 20 minutes now and I can't see any drips anywhere uh, so I think what I'll do then I'll uh, I might try just using hand pump to see if it's going to fill the boiler up I've got water coming through low down valve so it's going into the boiler and coming through and I it's not leaking on that joint no more, so I think I've cracked it. Uh, I think I'll try bypass valve next, see if I can uh, pump loco up and get it running and then uh, leak bypass valve open to see if, obviously I can't pump it into the boiler because it'll be full of air, but I might be able to check on bypass valve.
Okay then, that's it for this video then. I'm gonna sign off for now then. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.